Greetings and salutations, people of the internet. I'm this way Mark 2, and welcome back to Sonic Mania, where we're probably going to finish it this episode, because we are back in Titanic Monarch yet again. So, yeah, let's go finish the game for the third, fifth, eighty-second time. <laughs> but yeah, this time is Knuckles. It should be a fun new experience to experience these bosses. As the great and powerful Knuckles, who does not chuckle, he can only flex his muscles. I don't even know anymore. But yeah, it should be interesting to say the least. We have the super form, we have lower speed, we have lower jump height, and somehow avoided that. That was magical. If I could edit, I would re-edit it, uh, I would edit in like 50 things in dodging that. Now, let's, uh, just continue, I guess. Really. I'm not entirely sure what to say right now. Like, eh, we're gonna finish Sonic Mania again. I, it's not like it's anything I haven't seen before. The last boss, however, was something new, I believe. I Lava Reef, so... Yeah, Lava Reef had a different boss in Knuckles. He doesn't get to fight the Heavy Rider, which is kind of sad. The Heavy Rider's cool. I like the Heavy Rider. But I guess it can make sense that he doesn't fight the Heavy Rider. You get unstuck for a second. Ow. <laughs> yep. Perfect. I did it. Got myself a blue ring, but I didn't need it. I have I don't have enough rings yet. But I will in a second, because they're gonna give me a lot of rings around here. So yeah, let's just roll, jump, and avoid. <laughs> Woo! Automated section. Nice reward for doing good. It's always like hey, you can go fast now. <laughs> There's always a distinct lack of that in Sonic games. The main draw is go fast, but the 2D Sonic seems to not do much of that. 3D, however, really got that down. Especially in boost gameplay. So the boost ones are kind of hard, unless it's Sonic Forces, but otherwise, boost games are pretty hard, usually. But yeah, like... Boost gameplay... I'm still not a fan of the whole boost system, but I can see why maybe some people like it. Not really, actually. I can see what better... I see a better system in the adventure style. Where everything controlled smooth. And they had that speed. Sonic and, Sonic and Sonic Adventure 2 was just amazing. Um, that was amazing. Well, perfection, I do say so myself. But, yeah. They don't seem like they want to do that ever again. And you just have to rely on the few fan games that use that kind of system. You know? I know there's a fan game that kind of mixes the, the boost gameplay with a bit of adventure, and it works surprisingly well. It's not even boost gameplay, it's kind of a boost movement system. Boost the speed you get from boost gameplay with uh, Adventure's movement system. And it controls beautifully, and I like it. I might make a video on it one day. Because I can run it, actually, which is a nice change of pace for games that just came out. Then again, I believe it's been in development forever now. <laughs> it's on Revision 8. If you know anything, you probably know what I'm talking about. Well, personally, I just can't remember the date. <laughs> I can't remember the name, but otherwise you should probably know what I'm talking about. Here the words Revision 8. <laughs> because you've probably heard about the Revision 8. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Sonic World? I'm not entirely sure. It's gonna be Sonic Man game. I haven't played any of them, the only one I've ever really played in this world. Which is interesting, considering I've played the Metroid Man game. We should uh, get some speed. Speed! Here's something Sonic Forces did horrendously wrong. The 2D section. There again, 2D sections are always a mistake in the boost games. <laughs> I don't consider any 2D sections, really. I thought... 
I thought Generations was alright, but then they gave Modern Sonic to these sections, and those are just the worst. <laughs> Anytime they give Modern Sonic 2D sections is just stupid. Like, you have Classic Sonic for a reason. But then, somehow, Modern Sonic's 2D sections ended up being better than Classic Sonic, which is stupid. Because Sonic Force is... That's... Okay, I don't even know why you're Because <laughs> Classic Sonic's supposed to be the one that controls well in 2D. <laughs> Not Modern Sonic. But even then, Iron Sonic didn't have the best controls in 2D, but you know what? It worked, unlike Classic. Classic was a disaster in Sonic Forces. He never should have been added. Really, there was no point in adding him. And as for the Avatar, well, 2D, 3D, doesn't really matter. Avatar doesn't really have a set gameplay style. Just Avatar. <laughs> you know? Just works. And you know what? It's the best part of the game. Doesn't have the boost gameplay, so <laughs> I already like it that way. I already like it because of that fact. No boost means yay. <laughs> I'm a happy boy, as I said. <laughs> All right, first hit on the boss. I'm trying to hit this boss is gonna be fun because Knuckles jumps slower. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Ow! There we go. Damage boosting. That's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Damage boosting. Ow. Yeah, can you send those up, please? Thank you. Ow. Make sure to grab a ring. Grab a ring. There we go. And victory for the first half. Now we gotta do the second half. Which is the actual hard part. <laughs> right, it's moving up, which means I get to jump even lower. Which is always good. I was doing up again, which is again good. Just stand under it and we'll be good. Damn it, I missed my chance to hit him. <laughs> can you go down, please? Down. Thank you. I can do this now. Ow. Damn it, your stupid invincibility frames protected you. <laughs> Alright, up! There we go. <laughs> he went up, but I didn't want him to go up, but I said up, so I jinxed him. There we go. That's the end of that horrendous boss fight. <laughs> Sonic 3, Sonic 1, Sonic this... I don't even know why I said Sonic 1, it's not even in Sonic 1. Sonic 3 and this, this boss fight is still terrible. It's better than Sonic 3, but it's still terrible. Hmm... You know? I know. But do you know? We all know. <laughs> I don't even know what tangent I just went off on there. But yeah. Next stage. 15 lives. Woo! Titanic Monarch Zone 2. Get up here, and then over here. <laughs> Got ourselves an extra life. I like the Eggman stained glass window. It's quite nice. I think. <laughs> It's a nice decorative touch. Oh, fuck off. I'm tired of your shit involving those stupid flying things. Oh, there's an egg. There's the heavy monarch. <laughs> Again. Alright. Down. And then over. Victory. I don't know what I victorized, but I victorized it. Okay. That's not a way we can go. We can only go this way. Yeah. All right, managed to get away from it at least. Ah, and then we're back up here. And we managed to kill the enemy. Oh, we killed one of them anyways. Let's just fly. Fly, 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 fly. <laughs> Where we stop? It's down here, obviously. See, there's a there's a checkpoint that I didn't bother to touch. All right, this one. <laughs> the other one's just a big ruse. Climb up. Oh, hey, another one of these. Uh... Aww. Alright, where the heck am I now? Can I really not? Okay, so that is an invisible wall. Got it! We're gonna use the damage boosting to... <laughs> 
basically cheat our way through an area. Get up here. Over here. Whew, that was a little too close to comfort. <laughs> Woo! As level design goes, I really do enjoy this game. I like it more and more I play it, but I think that's the way these Sonic games are made. They're made for you to hate them the first time you play them, and then you end up liking them more and more. To be honest though, I don't think I will ever like Sonic 1. <laughs> that's a fact. Sonic 1 will be one of the <laughs> Mainly because I just do not like its level design at all. Sonic 2 is fine, but I don't think I'll ever like it. Especially Sonic 3 was basically perfect because even even when the first time I'm playing it, I still enjoyed it, you know? Yeah. This is a head down thing, gotta be extremely careful. There we go. 89 rings. And there we go. I figured it out. <laughs> okay. I figured it out. As he says as he rolls into spikes. <laughs> Good job, me, by the way. There we go. Found ourselves another one of these guys. Take me to the promised land. <laughs> I like how useless that one enemy is. It's like, I'm helping by not really doing much of anything. Alright, up to go, and that's two done. Let's uh, do a third. Woo. Ow. And. Alright. Let's head over this direction. I know, just like, uh. <laughs> Alright, let's not make the infinite since I did this before. Spin dash your way over there. Grab this. Take him out. <laughs> Head on the wrong item. What? God damn you, stupid 2D Sonic and crushing. Crushing should really just do damage. It shouldn't really kill. It's like there's so many just unfair deaths because of it. Oh, you're just the one pixel off. Christ. And those enemies. <laughs> projectiles <won't> work. <laughs> they need to be able to go through with the spin dash, that's my opinion. A lot of things need work. I think when it comes down to it, I think Freedom Planet fixed most of every, every issue I've ever had with the Sonic game, the 2D Sonic series. So I guess I would make Freedom Planet the best 2D Sonic game I've ever played. Hmm. I see, I need to get back to that at some point, because I did say I'd probably do the other characters since the other characters are different. Yeah, I'll probably do that again. Not nah, anyway. Probably soon-ish. Possibly sometime after Mania? Not that much time, though. Axiom Verge, maybe? After Axiom Verge? I'm gonna have to get back to where I was before on Axiom Verge. That's an issue. So they really want me to go that way, but this way is the right way. And I'm not stupid. Technically, I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> when it comes to a lot of things. In games. These are reasons! I'm kind of just oblivious, and I have short-term memory. <laughs> so, yeah. I used to be pretty good at, no at just noticing random things. And then, I don't know. A day came by, and then I just stopped noticing random things. <laughs> noticing the blatantly obvious, you know? <laughs> this is really going on for a long time, this one section. Alright. Are we on the right track? Yep, here we are. Three down, one to go, and then a boss fight. With uh, the Phantom Egg. And the Phantom... And the Phantom Egg. I feel like Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania contradict themselves with the Phantom Ruby. I'm not entirely 100% sure on that, but I feel they do. <laughs> because in Sonic Forces, the Phantom Ruby is something Eggman created, at the same time, in the comics, it's not. It's something he found. It's 
so you know reasons. Yeah, they did a tie-in comic to Sonic Forces, and well, <laughs> in that comic, Eggman found the Phantom Three, assuming from the end of Mania, which the end of Mania does tie into this, the true end, anyways. And in the game, for some reason, he made the Phantom Ruby, and he also made Infinite. <laughs> Which is odd, because both the comic and the episode Shadow DLC contradict that statement of he made Infinite. <laughs> you know? You know what? I've never went down this way. What is down this way? I feel like I'm missing out on something by not trying to go this area this way. Yeah, I missed out on some rings. <laughs> well, that was worth the, uh, some. You know what? Let's actually try getting up there. Because we did just get bounced up there, so let's try this again. There we go. Let's see what this is for. New roots! So many enemies! Rings! Hmm. <laughs> I am a Sonic character. Now... Grab this, so this thing can't be a threat, and then we're gonna do this. <laughs> Actually, I might have been this way before. Who knows? I know I definitely bit- yeah, here we are. Final boss! Oh, not final boss. Fire shield! Okay, fire shield versus the final boss. It's kind of a shame I won't keep the invincibility because I'm failing miserably, but hey, we got the fire shield, which will protect us from a lot of the bullshit of the final boss. But yeah, final boss! Same thing? It's gonna be the phantom egg? Yeah, it's the phantom egg. <laughs> Alright. Let's get rid of the phantom egg. Let's final boss, let's go! This one's cool, but... I don't think it's as inspired as the end boss of <laughs> Sonic Mania. Son even though Sonic Mania is supposedly taken from Colors and Lost World, two games I've never played. Well, I played Lost World, but I never finished Lost World. I'll probably get to doing that at some point, but yeah. <laughs> Won't be in the video because I can't run Lost World that well on my PC. Alright, this one basically out. I don't really get the point of hitting those things because, like, can you destroy the hard boiled heavies? Or the Phantom Heavies, as they're called in this. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Aw, I missed my chance to hit him again. Alright, you gonna fire rockets? Yes, you are. Ow. It's definitely a harder fight than the, uh, the final boss of forces. So yeah. I like the final boss of forces. Alright. Which direction are you going? That way. Alright, you go that way. Right. Missed it. <laughs> Grab that before it hits me. Dodge. Hit! <laughs> uh, I lost my ring. That's fine, though. We can still win this. He just has to... Um... Alright, I just have to be careful, that's really all there is to it. Oh fuck. See? Being extremely careful here. <laughs> Alright. Rings, please. I'd like another ring to rule them all, thank you. Alright, attempt two at Ruby Delusions. I think that's the name of a song. I think that's the name of the first boss song. The name of the other Eggman boss song. I feel this egg. I'm not entirely sure, but. I'm wondering if all of these things are just made by the Phantom Ruby. Right now. Considering what the Phantom Ruby can do in Forces, or what it supposedly does. I still don't know how the hard boiled heavies came to be. Really make much sense there. Movie. Sonic Forces does not explain shit when it comes to <laughs> the 
Mania, or what the Ruby does. Because Mania seems to contradict what it does. Mania treats it kind of like a more powerful half, and World Forces treats it like something that creates illusions. <laughs> that isn't really much of a spoiler, I don't think, to be honest with you. The whole illusion thing might be obvious based on the fact the villains you see <laughs> in the villains trailer and the start of the game. <laughs> you know? Come on, Shinobi. Shinobidize me. Yep. Ow. Yep. This time, let's hit him without getting hit ourselves. I said hit him without getting hit ourselves. We're back to square one with this, I guess. Good, 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 good. Alright. Then... Yep. Let's just avoid taking damage. Instead, avoid taking damage, not get hit by him. Eh. I'm still going to tackle Shinobi. <laughs> they don't care about the damage I will take. Um. Okay then. <laughs> Please reconnect controller. That was an odd message. I mean, the controller was never disconnected. Just saying. <laughs> Whatever. Well, back to Shinobi again. Let's see if we can do this without uh, losing all of our rings. Alright, he came out this direction this time. Alright. Oh, I almost got my ring back. <laughs> Let's see if we can get through this section without dying. Sound good? Sound good. Alright, Eggman, jump around a little bit. I will hit you twice, and then you'll lose another one of those things. Alright. Alright, let's avoid getting hit. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I can't jump up there. So if the... What? Oh, his legs. His legs. Fucking legs. Mm. I am going to get through the shinobi if it kills me. Which it probably will. Oh, hey. We almost managed to not get there. And we got two hits off on the fucking shinobi. I call that a victory. Oh, and we lost a ring again. You know what? That's fine. We can do this without any rings. That is the goal here. And then we get to the next section. The next section will have rings, probably. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Yeah! Next section. And the first arm down. Alright. Come on. Get me to the next section. Rings! No, no rings. Okay. He's in this over there. I didn't have enough time to run there by the time he got there. Uh, that's that stupid boss. I like. I followed it perfectly. It's just the issue of I can't keep up with that. <laughs> There's no real way to keep up with it. It's like you kind of just have to guess. It's kind of a stupid section of this boss. It really is. It's one of those unfair bullshits. You know? Let's see if we can actually do this without losing everything. You know? <laughs> Might be fun to actually be able to hit him without losing all our rings. You know? I know. Oh, hey. Managed to hit him without losing all our rings. Let's see if we can repeat that. No, we lost all our rings. <laughs> but you know what? We can do the next section just fine. He's not a threat. Come on, Eggman. Drop so I can do some shit here. Alright, there we go. Took out arm two. Let's avoid the rockets. Alright, avoid him. He's going to... Oh, he's going to do rockets again, eh? I'm fine with that. Alright. 
destroy another arm. <laughs> oh, he's gonna do the rockets yet again. Alright, then. I'm fine with this. Alright, now you're gonna grab me? Yes, you're gonna grab me. Alright, then. Alright, let's play Follow the Rainbow. So he's in this one, it's still in the center, and it's over here. Oh, fuck! What the fuck? Uh, I was jumping to try to uh, try to get over there faster, not hit him. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to get over there faster because I saw where he went, and it's like he just went over the right, and that was it. <laughs> and I jumped and I hit him, which is not exactly what I was trying to do. <sighs> One ring versus Shinobi. <laughs> I thought I could hit him while he was spawning in. Turns out you can't. Good, 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 good. Hit the fucking Shinobi once and keep a ring. That's impressive. Now if you keep the ring during this, that would be also impressive. Damn it. <laughs> I can get two hits off. I've been getting two hits off of like just by uh spin dash jumping into him. Ow. Keep the ring, and dodge. That's all you really need to do, is keep the ring and dodge. Oh, there we go. <laughs> is he gonna do rockets again, or is he gonna... Oh, he's doing rockets again. Interesting. It's interesting he's staying here longer. Well, we lost the fucking ring, which is good. So, he's gonna send us to the Heavy Magician without any rings, which means... Fuck us, I guess. So let's keep an eye on the Heavy Magician's one. So... No, it wasn't over here this time. I was not paying attention to it. <laughs> I looked away for a second to try to do something, and then... Fuck all happened. And we died. Alright, we're back here again. Jesus Christ, again, I managed to hold on to the ring, but... Reasons unknown... Holding on to it. Oh good, we're gonna get to the heavy magician with a fucking ring this time. Alright, let's see if we can uh I don't know, build up speed. Alright, so magician is here. I was right. And still. Give me that. <laughs> Thank you. I still got hit anyways because I didn't have enough time to react to it. Uh, poorly designed section of a boss fight, but at least we're gonna finish the Phantom Egg. And move on to Egg Reverie or something or another. True final boss. That's There we go. Hopefully we get the true final boss. Unless it's different for, uh... I guess it's different for Knuckles. There is no true final boss, I guess, right? Hmm. Interesting. I do have all the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> I like how Sonic's the one now calling out for Knuckles to get him to this kid. Hmm. Yeah, with that, I guess, end Sonic Mania once again, <laughs> for the third time. I'm probably gonna have to do it a fourth, because there's an and Knuckles mode, and to my knowledge, that's the one with the Knuckles-specific ending. But yeah, until then, I will be sure to like the enjoy. Yes, if you didn't, subscribe, if, subscribe and follow if you want to see more. Follow me on Vidme if you want, I mean, subscribe to the Vidme if you want to support the channel, and also tip the video on VidMe if you really enjoyed, and all those other things. Uh, share the video, follow me, repost, yada yada yada. Again, I've been Avisa Antu, this has been Sonic Mania, have a nice day. Enjoy the credits for the third, third thousandth time I'm going to enjoy them myself, since I drink soda and contemplate what I'm going to do.